Welcome to the Grand Rapids, Michigan, Kent County Residential Real Estate Market Update with data through July 2021. My name is Rodney Constable. I'm a realtor with Century 21 Affiliated out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. Year over year, home prices are up 15.6% in the Kent County area, with the average home selling for $306,605. One year ago, the average home was selling for $265,187. For years, I've heard people saying things like home prices can't continue to go up. Well, when I hear things like that, I I think about the input costs to building a home. And some of the major input costs to building a home are land, labor, materials, and regulatory costs. So if somebody thinks that home prices cannot continue to rise in the future, what they're basically saying is that Land is going to get cheaper and more plentiful. Labor is going to get cheaper and more plentiful. Materials are going to get cheaper and more plentiful. And the government's going to make regulatory costs of building a house cheaper and easier. And guys, when we just think about these four input costs, land, labor, materials, and regulatory costs, do we really think that any of these input costs to building a home are going to fall in the future? I doubt it. So if land, labor, materials, and regulatory costs are going to continue to go up, then home prices probably will continue to rise in the future as well. The average home is selling after being on the market for just 11 days. Now, when we compare that to the inventory of unsold homes, we can see that those homes have been on the market for an average of 53 days. What these two data points tell us is that if a home is properly priced, especially in this market, it will sell in a relatively short period of time, right now in under two weeks. However, if a home is not properly priced for its condition, location, and amenities, it will stay on the market for an extended period of time, right now, on average, about two months. Next, let's take a look at year-to-date new listings versus the same period one year ago. And again, we're looking at the first seven months of 2021 versus the first seven months of 2020. And in this category, we can see that year-over-year, we are down 4.7% on new listings coming to market. Now, when we look at this data in a numerical format, we can see that so far for calendar year 2021, there have been 6,043 new listings in Kent County compared to 6,339 listings during the first seven months of 2020. So we're down 295 listings versus where we were last year. And if we go all the way down to the uh, 2016 data, we can see that we're down 1,497 listings compared to the first seven months of 2016. That's almost a 20% differential. So there's approximately 20% less homes that have been available so far for the first seven months of 2020 for buyers to choose from than what we had six years ago in 2016. Next, let's take a look at the year-to-date closed transactions versus the same period one year ago. So we just looked at the listings. Now let's look at what's actually been selling. And in this category, we are up 8.1% year over year. Now, when we look at this data in a numerical format, for the first seven months of 2021, there's been 5,151 closed transactions. So we are up 386 closed transactions versus where we were in 2020. But again, if we go down to 2016 and kind of get you know an idea of what's been going on from a long-term trend standpoint, we can see that there have been 578 fewer closed transactions so far in 2021 versus what we had for the first seven months of 2016. So that is a 10.09% differential. So again, fewer listings, fewer closes compared to what we have been seeing over the last six years. So the trend is still going against us. And, uh, you know, part of that is going to be COVID. But obviously, you can see if you go down to 2016 and move your way up the chart, you can see that most years, year over year, 2017, 2018, uh, the data has been dropping. So we've had fewer listings and fewer closed transactions year over year starting in 2016. Next, let's take a look at the average months of inventory in Kent County. Now, so far for calendar year 2021, we're averaging 0.6 months of inventory. That's about 18 plus or minus days. Now, what this means is that if no new homes came to market 
in the entire county of Kent County. Based on our current sell rate, we would be completely sold out of homes in about 18 plus or minus days. Guys, that is not a lot of inventory at all. And if you look down over the last nine years of data, I have more data available to me in this category, so I extend this, uh, this data out to 2013. But we can see that the highest inventory level that we had was back in 2014 at 2.3 months of inventory. And right now, we're running about 25% of that, okay. And by the way, and you're going to see in the next few slides the uh, that this is uh, this is the case. But 2.3 months of inventory is really low inventory, guys. So even at 2.3 months, which is the highest inventory we've seen in the last nine years, that is still low, okay. That's still considered a seller's market. But stay with the rest of this video so so that you really understand this. But uh, guys, I mean, this is you know this is a really really low inventory number at 18 plus or minus days and it's probably not going to change anytime soon. So why does inventory matter? Well, as we can see here, if you have between one and two months of inventory, you probably are going to experience double digit price appreciation on homes. And that is exactly what we have seen for many years here in the Grand Rapids area. If you're running between three and four months of inventory, you would generally experience single digit price appreciation. If the inventory built to where you had between five and six months of inventory, this is more of a normal balanced or neutral market where you might experience some price appreciation, but it would more than likely be in the low single digits. And if you're under five to six months of inventory, this is considered a seller's market. And that's exactly what we have seen for many years here in Grand Rapids. If you're over six months of inventory, this is considered a buyer's market. And if your inventory built to between seven and eight months, that's when you would most likely experience single digit price depreciation. And then if the inventory built to nine months plus, that's when you would likely see double digit price depreciation. So seven to eight months of inventory, single digit price depreciation, nine months plus, that's when we start to get into double digit price depreciation. If you would like to learn even more about the likelihood of home prices rising in the future, I would highly suggest you watch my information packed Will Home Prices Continue to Rise video, which is out on my YouTube channel. I will also put a link to that video in the description box below this video. So what are the next steps? Watch my Will Home Prices Continue to Rise video. Watch my other YouTube videos. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for ongoing real estate education. Please give me a thumbs up on this video and other videos that you like. Leave a comment on my videos and share my videos on my YouTube channel with your friends, family, and colleagues. Also, please feel free to connect with me via social media and call me at 616-258-4782 if you are looking to buy or sell a home in the Grand Rapids, Michigan area. Thank you so much for being on this video with me. I really appreciate it, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.